scrambled eggs. I'm going to get bacon fat. You know? First day of arrival after a nine hour difference, and that's how we kill all the jet lags in this lifetime series. First night, boom, we go, we continue. We throw our own welcome party. Yeah, my own welcome party, and then <laughs> next day, 7 a.m., you wake up, you know, perfect. We're in the rhythm now. One mile from where I live, I live with Green Lake Beach. This is how I started my morning ride every morning. Morning, Stevie is showing off today on the Ala Philippe S works. Tarmac is going to show off in the group right there. Eh? All good. Let's see if we can win this climb on the Giro Tuesday ride. I got beaten in the Giro Tuesday ride. I forgot to film everything, so it's just me and Stefan left because I was like this. Good numbers, I think. But I got beaten by a 15 year old Santa Cruz. Oh, passing the tracks. Talent. Morning, day two, most early podcast. All for Dylan van Baarle. All for Dylan van Baarle. We're going to phone Dylan van Baarle in like half an hour. Start <laughs> making ba bacon, coffee and whatever. It's 6 a.m. in the morning. No Barolo. We have Barolo yesterday night. Road trip day two. I'm ashamed. I'm a little ashamed. But I'll take the opportunity. <laughs> Wind tunnel time. Wind tunnel for this baby. Ben, he, uh, he came up with the idea, Ben Edwards, mobile marketing. First I was like, come on. We, uh, we drink a lot of IPAs, we, ride, we race bikes, and then we drink a lot of IPAs again. That's careful, we don't need the wind tunnel. He said, yeah, but I'd like to test, uh, for example, the number plate, or with the hydration pack and stuff like that. And then I was like, okay, I'm around, let's do it. So that's why I'm here now. Outside the head, specialized headquarters. Who are we with? We are with the Angel. See. Mauricio Ordonez, organizer of the hardest race I've ever done. What do you think about our new ride? We got the Mercedes Sprinter Beast Mode 4x4 Storyteller Overland. Stuff over here. We arrive in style at the Seawater the Classic. Style. You know how much more easy it is to do efforts here instead of on three and a half thousand meters? Also this gravel is more nice. <laughs> this is like the Boyaka gravel. This is like almost paved. <laughs> It's buzzing 
everywhere and uh, I'm going to talk to you to my bike setup. Full suspension mountain bike, dropper post, pro saddle, the saddle I use on my gravel bike too. 36 in the front, 11, whatever in the back, I have no clue, I'm a roadie. It has pedals, yeah. very good. This thing has pedals. There's wheels. This is orange. This is wheels. It's a black bike. The fork is orange. I think it looks cool, you know? It's a green bike. <laughs> it's a green bike. Ay, ay, ay. Sam says it's green. I think it looks cool. And I'm, I try not to die tomorrow on this thing. You know you're the man? You know now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's really some pre-race yeah. pre stress going yeah. on here. There's a lot of stress here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Um, I have a lot of nerves. Yeah. How, how about to being the race favorite? Race favorite. Day before. <laughs> Feels really good to be the race favorite. Cheers, mate. I'm I'm, I'm riding a fully. Yeah. I can't go wrong. Is that I, with, I, with two so, suspensions? So, two suspensions. Yeah. <laughs> in the front, in the back. Blocks, baby. Multi tool, lots of air. I forgot to take the big ones and I see the big tires, so to be sure I take two. Acting like a real mountain bike, got long finger yeah. gloves. Yeah, how's the race vibes? Race vibes are there. Yeah. Long finger gloves, new socks, <laughs> no shaved legs. I feel like a mountain bike. I feel like a mountain and bike. And cinnamon rolls for breakfast. Cinnamon rolls. Uh, actually, we made oats too, to be honest. Still a roadie. <laughs> So it was a fast start. I had to, <laughs> it was like a crit race in the Netherlands, you know, like bam. But then just before we finished the, the first lap, I, I noticed my rear tire was like not good anymore. So I stopped to put CO2 in it. Then I got going again and I, I took back the guys I, I was with. But then at the beginning of the second lap, I had to do it again. And then Kiel Reiner passed me, I couldn't, uh, yeah, while I was CO2ing and I couldn't get back to him. And then it was basically no man's land till the finish. But like I just said to Ian, I felt really cool. I felt like Joe Tomek, you know, like I was totally alone going down the hill. We had a good workout. I'm happy with the power numbers. Maybe need to lose some weight and then all will be okay. So the Lifetime Grand Prix series is a uh, it's an adventure race series, you know, it's, it's, it's consistent of three mountain bike races and three gravel races in the US throughout the year. 60 people are allowed to compete, 30 females, 30 male riders. I'm one of the 30 male guys and I'm, I entered this series because I was hungry for adventure. The first week of the Lifetime series was exactly how I wanted it to be. Trip down memory lane, Santa Cruz, made new friends on the venue, met old friends in, uh, in Long Beach. You know, those guys, was really nice to meet and to, to feel the American vibe again. So I was happy. So when we raced at the engine tour, sound got warm. I think we had this climb to enter the circuit. I was like, oh. 